Bill mentioned the uh, the role of the Messiah that was ascribed to uh, Obama during his uh, presidential campaign. And that's something I think we all can understand from a European or particularly German perspective as well. If you look back for about two years or two and a half, I mean, he was greeted here really with enthusiasm, not only when he came for giving his speech here at the no, it wasn't at the Brandenburg Gate, it was at the Siegessäule, but uh, anyway, um, in the heart of the city where more than 250,000 people came and, you know, everybody was happy. Be it's, and also, they were so happy about Obama because Bush was in so incredibly unpopular. Uh, not only in the US, but in particular in all Europe. Um, I think he had approval rates in Germany, maybe 10% or something lower than probably any German, uh, American president had had before. Um, so, um, it is also against um, this image and a, a, a person and presidency of George W. Bush that Obama became such a figure of light. Um, there are various other factors um, that had to, to, to do with it, but um, I suspect, you know, if he w would have been running for Chancellor of Germany, he might have had a chance of winning at that point of time. Um, <clears throat> Uh, so I think looking for the momentum, there was it. That, that, that was the momentum. When he ran the campaign and won, that was the momentum of the left and that was, that was the big chance of doing something. Maybe the 24 hours were already too long. I mean, you, 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 you mentioned that already, Bill. So what about uh, the election and its impact um, on the United States and the global scene? If you uh, read the papers uh, the, the last weeks. Uh, you don't have to uh, read the American papers. The Germans in this case will do as well because they write the same thing. The reason for the, um, the Republican victory um, is that Obama was too left. His, he just was too liberal, too left, and you know this was more or less the punishment for him being out of touch with reality being out of touch with the business community, you know? How can you survive as a government, as a president, if you're out of touch with business? Uh, you'll read that in the papers, of course, in the New York Times, though there are other voices as well, but you will also find it in Der Spiegel, uh, in Die Zeit, and all those, you know, uh, German, uh, supposedly liberal um, mm, uh, papers and magazines. Um, they're basically uh, saying all the same. He was uh, too left, and uh, therefore, he, uh, he and his party lost this election. So what can he do? He should turn himself into Bill Clinton. So, um, wh what does that mean? After Clinton lost in 94, he, of course, um, this was described by Robert Reich and others, he turned to the so-called center, which basically means he turned to the right, and uh, what he did was uh, becoming half a Republican and slashing uh, uh, the welfare state and, uh, you know, uh, working together with Republicans and fulfilling their agenda to a large degree. Um, so this is a suggestion that's now being made for the, the second half of the first term uh, uh, of Obama's first term. Of course, this is just politics of, uh, um, um, according to certain interests. It's, it's, it's not something that can be really based in facts, for example, in exit polls. Um, the contrary actually is the case. Uh, if you look at him and the reason why he lost, it's simply the other way around. He lost because he wasn't left enough. And even for the American constituency, and we know it's not a radical left constituency, the American populace at this point of time, neither is it the German, by the way, you know. Um, uh, uh, but if you look at the policies that already made all the mainstream media right that he was too left, um, it was almost any reforms, uh, all the reforms that he did or tried, um, how they ended up, the healthcare uh, reform, you know, um, 
very little achievement, put it mildly. The, the financial reform was watered down by the lobbying efforts of the industries to, uh, to well, maybe not next to nothing, but very little. And you can go through all the uh, political um, er uh, areas of politics. I'm not going to do that now. But if you look at, um, at union politics, at, at renewable energies, if you look at um, uh, uh, politics concerning uh, minorities in the United States, if you look at uh, gay and lesbian rights, um, in, if you look at the military policy, the global military policy, you'll always see, well, there's little progress, but the, the real thing has not been achieved. Um, it's not only because there are, there's no goodwill. Of course, you know, people like Larry Summers and, and, and those kind of guys, of course, they were appointed, but it's, it's because the, the, the forces of capital have been opposing him very quickly and very strongly and tried to put him in line. Still, it's amazing, I think, that he's so incredibly unpopular with the business community. It's not that he has changed his policies and now they're saying, oh, you're on the right track now, buddy. No, no, they still want more and they don't, they don't get it. They don't want him and they don't want him now, not even with the little tiny things from our perspective that he and his party have achieved. Uh, so um, that tells you something, I would say, about the power relations in the United States, how they are uh, today. There are many structural things attached to it that I'm not going to get into here. It's not a seminar here, right? Um, but the, the, the institutional structure, of course, is biased against us. And it's even biased against Obama, I'd say. Yeah, if, let's say from a, from a watered-down uh, reformist uh, uh, position. And uh, that is um, um, uh, the, the resistance. Um, not only of the business community, but also of what Rick called the rich people, is uh, incredible and it's, uh, it has forces at its command that are really frightening. Um, uh, that was already mentioned, the irrationality that's at hand here. You know, I'm, I'm not sure who this billionaire was, he said, was talking of an invasion of Poland that Obama uh, uh, was about to do. And what, what, is, what was he talking about? that uh, the Obama government tried to fix a loophole in Texas for hedge fund managers like this guy. You know, and that's the invasion of Poland. And this, you know, this kind of, um, or that Forbes run this story that Obama is an anti-colonialist uh, uh, agitator uh, from both Kenyan roots uh, that make him, you know, want to destroy the, the, the United States of America. And um, uh, this, um, uh, this irrationality and this craziness gone mainstream, that's something that's really frightening if you look at the, uh, not only at the power relations, but also at the, all the continuities that exist from the Bush legacy uh, that are still in effect and that can uh, easily, you know, in other hands uh, be uh, uh, used to very worse uh, uh, means people that own more than $200,000 a year. Two out of three will vote Republican. So that's a pretty high figure. And it's even higher than the percentage of white, white people that voted for Obama. It's already 60%, which I think is quite high if you look. It, it means less than 40% voted Democrats. Even though unionists with a large white constituency vote overwhelmingly 60%. 1% or something pro-democratic party for obvious reasons. So uh, that, I point this out because it, it shows you that it's a fusion of uh, the corporate, uh, the corporations, the rich, and I, what I would say another wave of white backlash. It's all true that you said about the Tea Party, but I, this is something that I think is very important because Obama is the first black president. Um, and he is not only black, he's also educated. And that is something that white rural America, uneducated America, pardon me, can't stand. They simply can't stand it from uh, what I would say. And that's why they so overwhelmingly um, uh, vote uh, for the Republican Party, which has nothing to offer. The thing is, last point, um, 
the, the economic question um, has been severely underestimated uh, concerning the outcome, not on this panel, uh, but generally. 63% of the uh, voting population said, well, the most important thing for me now, right now, is uh, the economic situation of the country. 63%. Second was healthcare with 18. Third was illegal immigration with eight, and fourth was Afghanistan with 7%. So that's two out of th uh, three say this is the most important thing. And um, the problem is that the Obama administration severely underestimated the crisis. They thought they uh, do this uh, program um, uh, throwing money <laughs> at the, uh, in the country and um, uh, believing that this would do, it didn't. And that's uh, the, the problem is um, incredibly severe, much more than here, even though we have terrible things like hard sphere, it's much better than uh, the situation for long-term unemployed in the United States. And, uh, this is also attached, and there is a delinkage that the Obama administration did, and even more the Democratic Party. We didn't talk about that, surprisingly, because it's 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 done much worse than Obama. Um, this redistribution that has has taken place over the course of the last 35 years, which is incredible. I'm not going to give you the figures now because it uh, takes <laughs> two minutes. Um, it wasn't addressed by the Democratic Party and its president, not at all, even though the richest 50 or 100 uh, people in the United States last year in the crisis increased their income five times. This David K. Johnson found that out. So that came out right in the elect during the electoral campaign. Nobody picked it up, no newspaper, no nothing. So, and if there's not um, uh, uh, an, an initiative by President Obama and his party to somehow address the economic situation and the redistributional situation, they will end up in the, sh in the situation they are now, I suspect, because simply, um, who can the people blame then? You know, it's, there's just the president uh, that's left. Okay, so far for now.